Hi, hello everybody. Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Witness Mpaga. I'm a businessman, a property investor, as well as the author of this book. It's more than just money, a guide to escaping the rat race and building generational wealth. Now, if you're new to this channel, welcome to my channel. Please click on <clears throat> the subscribe button, click on the notifications bell, and what else do you need to do? Share, 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 share this video so that it can reach many other people that are interested in the same kind of content. Uh, like the video as well, so that those algorithms can pick up and understand that you are here as well. Now, I wanna talk to you about something today, something that has to do with mindset. You know, it's all about the mindset. Now, most of the time, right, because we entrepreneurs talk a lot about business, talk a lot about building property portfolios, share portfolios, building generational wealth. We talk a lot about that. But what people don't understand is that all of that comes from having a certain kind of mindset, right? It is difficult to build something that is progressive when one's mindset is backwards, right? And it is difficult also to, to go backwards when your mindset is progressive. So if you've got a progressive mindset, everything that you touch and that you do is obviously be going to become progressive because that's the kind of person that you are, you know. But what a lot of people don't understand is that how does the mindset actually influence how you do things? That's what a lot of people do not understand. Now, the word mindset is very self-explanatory in and of itself, right? It's a mind and it is set. Of course, that is very obvious, but a mind and a set, right? So, but what does that actually mean? Now, think of concrete, right? Concrete for as long as it is soft, for as long as it still has water and it's got a bit of liquid in it, you can move it around, you can create designs with the concrete, you can obviously do whatever you want with the concrete. But once that concrete is set and it's hard, it is difficult for you to change that specific concrete. Now, think of yourself when you were young and naive, or maybe not so naive, right? There were certain ideas that you had, or a certain way of doing things that you had, right? But right now, at your age, you've changed the way you used to do that specific thing, right? So it means that at that time, your mind was still not set on that specific thing. You had not developed a mindset around that thing. You know, remember when you believed that you could do anything? Remember when you believed that you could jump off a building, for instance? Remember when you were a child and believed that you could touch a stove and nothing is going to happen to you until you touched the stove, of course, and you got burnt? Now, your mindset was being formed around there. Now you understand. Your mind will tell you, if I touch a stove, I'm going to get burnt. If I jump off a bed, I'm going to fall. If I jump off a building, I'm going to fall. Because that is something that has been set over time, right? So, meaning, we also have set our mindsets around certain societal norms, right? Be it, society will say, for you to be successful, which is what we've been taught since we were young, for you to be successful, go to school, get good grades, do extremely well, get a good job, get married, live a quiet life, have children, die, leave them a bit of an inheritance. Normally that inheritance is just a house or a few policies that you've uh, gotten through insurance, right? Now, what we don't understand is that we don't have to set our minds the same way we set concrete. You see, the human brain is not like concrete. Concrete, you can set, it can get hard, and you can never do anything about it again. But the human brain is quite different. It can be rewired if you allow yourself to rewire your, your brain, right? So for instance, if you look at entrepreneurship in and of itself, building a business, that's a mindset. More than anything, forget about what anybody has told you. Listen to me right now. It is a mindset. Entrepreneurship is a mindset. What do I mean by that? Now, 
take two, two people that work at the same job, right? Let's say they both do administration in, in an office. One person could believe, listen, my company pays me X amount of money. That's the money I'll be able to make. I'm an administrator. That's what I'm going to do for the company. And then there comes person two, who's got a different kind of mindset and says, I might be at this job, but that's not all the income I'll ever be able to make. That's the income my company can pay me, but I can make other income streams by selling other things on the side. I can even sell certain things to my colleagues. I can sell certain things online. I could write a book and publish it and sell it because I understand that my job is not the only place where I'm going to get an income. Now, that in and of itself is a mindset. Now, entrepreneurship is not just having an office, having products and selling those products. It's having the mindset that says, I'm not dependent on anyone to give me an income. I'm dependent on my God-given abilities to create money for myself. And the only way I'm going to create money for myself is by adding value to other people. If I found a person who needs a specific thing, right? And I design the specific thing that that person needs, that person will pay me. Now, all of that is a mindset because all of that comes from the mind. Meaning, one's mind has to be set in a certain way that says, I'll be able to make money if I create products of value for other people. Now, meaning you focus specifically on making sure that the people that you live around, the people that are in your country, you are constantly looking at them and saying, how can I add value to them? And the more value I add to these people, the more they will pay me, right? If I can find one person to buy this book for 275, right? One person, if one person can buy this, can I find a thousand that can buy it? Of course, if there's value in it, a thousand people will buy it. Can I find 10,000 people to buy it? Of course. Now, that's just an example of a product that you can take and say, how does it add value to one person? You define how it adds value to one person, and then you say to yourself, okay, since it's able to add value to person one, can it add value to person two, person three, person four, up to a thousand people? Now, all of that is just a mindset, right? In the property industry, which is the industry I work in, right? Before you could say you are renting out a room or an apartment or a house, you have to make it in a certain way that is welcoming for the person who's going to rent it. Meaning you have to have the right kind of mindset, the mindset of service, the mindset of cleanliness, the mindset of creating beautiful spaces so that they could be rented by people that are looking for those kind of spaces. That's a mindset. Entrepreneurship is a mindset. Business is a mindset. Being a high performer at work, it takes a certain kind of mindset. One employee could say, my bosses are exploiting me. Another could say, hang on, my boss is my first customer. When I wake up in the morning and go to work, I'm not going to serve my boss. I'm going to serve my customer. Mr. So-and-so is not my boss. Mr. So-and-so is my customer. So I'm going to treat him like a customer, treat him very well, take care of his needs, take care of his customers, go there with a smile, upgrade my skills, and he will pay me as he sees the value that I bring into the business. Now, all of that is a mindset. It's a mindset. It all boils down to how the individual thinks. Now, you have to understand that the biggest tool that you and I have is a tool of thinking. Our brains, our minds, how do we apply them in such a way that we place ourselves in a position where 
we have a progressive mindset rather than a backward mindset. Now, the minute you've got a progressive mindset, you will always succeed and prosper in anything that you do. And the minute you have a backward mindset, you are definitely not going to succeed and prosper in anything that you do. It is all a mindset. Everything starts in your mind. If there is one thing that I could share with you that I think is going to be important on your journey to building a business, to serving your family, your community, your country, it's for you to understand the importance of thinking correctly, the importance of applying your mind correctly, the importance of having the right kind of mindset. And how do you do that? Surrounding yourself with the people that think right. Surrounding your th yourself with people that challenge societal norms. People that challenge the way you've been brought up and you've been made to believe that life is supposed to be. Now, I'm not saying change completely from how you were brought up. I'm saying think differently about it. Look at it from the perspective of how do I apply myself in such a way that I keep winning every single time I do something. It's all about the mindset, my friend. It's got nothing to do with your skills, more to do with your mindset. Your mindset will also help you form a proper worldview about the world that you live in, about your community, about the opportunities that are, in, that are in the market. Only your mindset will allow you to see opportunities. And only your mindset can block you from seeing the opportunity. So if you can't see opportunities right now, I want to ask yourself, what sort of mindset do you have? Do you have the mindset that says opportunities are scarce? Or have you got the mindset that says there's plenty opportunities for me? Now, if you wake up in the morning and say there aren't any opportunities, then you definitely will not find opportunities. But if you wake up in the morning and say, listen, there's bountiful opportunities for me. There's plenty of opportunities for me in the market. Trust me. Your brain will work it out in such a way that you will see every opportunity that there is for you to make money. And that's the mindset we all should have. The mindset of abundance. The mindset that says there's plenty for each and every one of us. The mindset that says there's no scarcity, there's abundance. It's all a mindset. And that is the mindset that informs our entrepreneurial journey. If you're watching for the first time, click on the subscribe button, click on the notifications button, comment and let me know what your thoughts are. I'm looking forward to engaging with you, my friends. See you in the next video. Ciao, ciao.